Hey guys, Levi here with Trident Fly Fishing and today we're going to be tying a carpet bug. Real good sow bug, crest bug, scud imitation, whatever you want to call them. Uh, freshwater crustaceans is what they are and they are a real prevalent food in things like tailwaters, spring creek systems, and in those areas fish go nuts for them. So this is a good one to have in the box anytime you're in a place like that. Let's get started with a Tiemco TMC3761 hook in the vise. This is a size 12, but you can tie this fly a little bigger up to a 10, all the way down to a 20 or so. Let's get started with some orange thread. This is a uh, ultra thread, 70 denier fluorescent orange. Let's lay a nice base down, get that excess out of the way and we're gonna Move into some Beavis holographic tinsel. This is the size medium color black. This stuff's real nice, adds a good stripe on the back of this, which is very prominent on a sow bug. Adds a little bit of flash too. Does have a natural curve, so I'm gonna accommodate that. And I wanna tie this directly on top of the hook shank so we're gonna pull it over on the back. So you wanna just make sure that it is straight on top there. And we'll just let our thread ride all the way up. So we wanna create a nice profile anyway. We don't want this to be bumpy or have some valleys or whatever you wanna call it. It's a real easy fly though. One of those ones you can sit down in an evening and probably tie out half of your season supply. After we get our holographic tinsel on there, we're gonna get some small black ultra wire in the mix and wrap that all the way back to the bend of the hook. This is a you know four or five material fly, but all of those materials as well as many, many others can be found at tridentflyfishing.com. And orders over 49 bucks, ship for free. So get on there and get what you need. All right, so now instead of dubbing our body from left to right, I'm gonna go right to left because I wanna add two layers here to create a nice buggy profile. I wanna add two layers of this rainbow scud dub. If you start, go, start from the back and go left to right, you won't have quite the chunky profile that is so commonly found on a sow bug. So get in there, grab yourself some of this, and I'm gonna continually apply it over the course of this fly. Tan's also another safe bet for a color, but I just like all the sort of color variants in this specific color. Get that nicely applied. This is a Tough dubbing to work with compared to some others, but it does give a look that is really nice for this fly. If you have some dubbing wax, this might be a good one to work into it. Get that all the way back to the bend, and then we're just gonna reverse it and go the other way. This is definitely a fly, whether you use Velcro or a bodkin or whatever, that you can get real crazy and pick out the sides on. If you look at a crest bug, they're sort of flat profile with a bunch of legs sticking out on either side. So you want to work on imitating that. This is a fly that's pretty similar to the Ray Charles as well, for which we do have a video on if you want to catch that to learn how to tie that fly. But I think this fly definitely draws some inspiration from that one. We're just applying dubbing as needed, I, uh, oops, let's get rid of that. I'm pretty strict about removing dubbing, I just really don't like to do it, so I'd rather add it several times than have to remove it once. You'll see that we have a little more pronounced look towards our thorax, but I'm gonna actually 
trim some of this off the top. It's not necessary. I just want a nice flat place for my holographic tinsel to lay. And we're going to come on up with that. And let's get my wire out of the way. A lot of moving parts here. And pull that directly over top. If you look at a crest bug, again, that sort of pronounced stripe down the back is pretty apparent. I'm going to tie that in one way, just reverse it for some added durability and snip it out of the way. Now we're going to grab our wire and just segment this fly. It'll also provide some durability. And nice evenly spaced wraps and bring it right on up to the eye. Tie it in. Pop it out and we'll build a nice orange head. I'm a big fan of that before we Hit it with a whip finish. So now that we've had this thing uh, tied and got our thread cut off, I'm just gonna come in here with my bodkin and pick out these, oh sorry, pick out these spaces in between the segmentation. You'll see how this gets a nice buggy appearance here that imitates those legs. I want to make it even on either side. Uh, Velcro also works really well, but I just had a bodkin on hand. Now I'm going to trim that. That is a carpet bug. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.